you want to support my work, check out my Patreon. And if you enjoy the ASMR, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Wake up. Wake up. I hope you're dressed and ready for the new day. I'm coming in now. Well now, I see you and Namio had a good time last night. <laughs> but now it's time for breakfast. So come with me. And Namio, I will be back with your morning book. So... You will have your morning reading time, like always. Thank you. I look forward to it, like always. Now, let's get to breakfast, before it gets cold. What are you doing? Uh, uh, what? what? What have you done? Well, that was quite rude of you to undo my tie. But, I see. Now you know what the rest know. Well, aside from a few other toys. But I see I can't hide it from you any longer. I am a living doll. Well, I am now. But I was not before. I guess I need to tell you a story. So I guess it's story time for you now as well as the others. But they can listen as they eat. Oh yes, you may eat. But I'm afraid your food will become cold as you must wait until story time is finished. Or if you don't know my story, I fear you may try to do worse things to find out more. But I can't have that now, can I? Now, let me get you to your seat. You made the toy maker mad! Oh! <laughs> now, Pin, I must ask you to be quiet. It's story time for them. Do you understand? Y yes, Toymaker. Thank you, Pin. 
Now then, it's time for you to hear my story. So, you may know why I am a doll. A toy, like my friends here. My family. Oh, how and why will be told to you in this story. Don't worry about that. Now, on to the story. Once upon a time, I think is where we will begin. Yes, yes, I think that will do nicely. Once upon a time, there was a toy maker. He loved to play with the toys he made and loved playtime ever so much. But he loved to bring joy to others so very, very much. Yet he knew that he could not do that forever. He knew that he would grow old and that the older he was, the less he could play and bring joy. And that one day his playtime would end for good. So, he tried to find a way to make sure he could play forever. So he worked and worked, and one day he found a book that told him of a ring that could help him put his soul into a doll. So, he went on a very, very long travel and found the ring and when he returned home, he found his old friends. His toys had been forgotten. He felt so badly for them. He was so very, very sad to have abandoned them. So, he sweared when he found how to bring life to his new body, he would do the same for his friends. So he worked for days and made his new body, a body that would not age or tire and would let him make playtime last forever. But once he was in his new body, he began to slowly forget things, like his eye color. But <laughs> he could change his eyes anytime he wished. So, it did not matter, and he had his storybooks and his friends to help him now, so he was not scared, and now he could bring joy to others, and he could help them have playtime last forever, and for some, he could help. He would have made them so very, very happy. He knew when he helped them that they would not tell anyone about him and they would go about their lives after. And well, he did help many. And yet, he had forgotten so much of his past that he had to make up some of his own stories. <laughs> and well, that is my story. Well, what I can remember of it. Now, I'm guessing you have so very, very much to ask me. So, ask what you must. But know this, what you find out, some of it, may scare you. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, I do not feel pain, and I do not need sleep, or to eat, but it does help me feel, well, more alive. But I must clean myself out after I eat. But playtime can be messy sometimes. 
Now, what more do you wish to know? Oh, yes, my eyes. <laughs> they are glass, but I can see through them. But I can change them if I wish. But I can't remember my old body's eye color. So, I change them whenever I wish to have a new eye color. <laughs> I always have my tools with me as well. Oh, well, you see, they are a part of me now. And now I feel I have no need of my gloves to hide my hands from you. Hmm. Oh, I see. Well, I am a ball joint doll, but I have things built into my arms. My tools are built in, and some of my tools are built into parts of my fingers and my hands. <laughs> you may get to see me use them, but now I think it's time for you to eat and the others to clean up. Okay, toy maker. And you. <laughs> you should be less rude. Or the toy maker may get really mad. <laughs> Pin is quite right. I will be very mad if you try something like that again. Do you understand? Good, good. <laughs> now, eat, eat. Unlike me and some of the others, you need food. And you need your energy. So, you can meet your old friend later today. Oh, yes. You will be meeting them after you eat and have playtime. And after you have playtime, you will get your last test. And then you will meet your old friend. Now, eat, eat. You need your food and your energy. 